forward to this. What's up everyone, how's it going? So, the new large scale game mode is set to be released March 26th, which as of now is just 10 days away. So in this video, I just wanted to kind of go over some speculation as well as what my hopes are for this new game mode. So let's jump right into it with the first thing and all we know really so far about it is what Dennis has said at EA Play back in June and then what is on the roadmap. So basically when this was announced back in June at EA Play, all Dennis said basically was that there is going to be command posts that we have to capture as well as capital ship takedowns. They haven't really elaborated too much on either of these things, though we did get a picture of a work in progress of a command post, so I'll put that up on the screen right now. And as you can see, it looks exactly the way it looked in the original Battlefront games, and I'm super happy that they did that. I was worried that they were going to make it a little bit different and trying to do their own take on it, but it's good to see that they are going back. Now, there is also a part on the roadmap that talks about taking out capital ships, and it actually says that there is gonna be interiors made for the Republic and Separatist capital ships. So that's one reason why I believe that this new game mode, as of now at least, is only going to be for the Clone Wars. So yeah, that is pretty much all we know about it so far. Also, Dennis did say that it is supposed to be a non-linear game mode, so that's really good news, and that ties into the, my first thing on my wish list, which I'm going to be going over now. So of course, my first thing is I really do hope this game mode is completely non-linear. I mean, I don't want cutscenes in between each phases, and then let alone, I don't want phases at all, because I really want this game mode to be very similar to the original Conquest mode. That game mode was so simple yet so great because it was completely non-linear. You can go wherever you want. You can hop in vehicles or you could be a hero or you can be a reinforcement or whatever you wanted to do. It did not matter. And then the main objective was of course just capturing command posts. So I really do hope they make it very similar to that mode, which as of now it is seeming to be that way. And then next up on my list, this is something a lot of people are worried about, and that is that there really does need to be more than 20 players on each team, especially if they're going to be opening up the entire map for the entire match, because even in Galactic Assault, the maps can feel pretty empty at times, especially on Geonosis. And then also in a blog, they did say that Geonosis will be opened up even more for this new game mode. So if it's already feeling kind of empty now, it's going to get a lot worse if they open it up even more, and then it's still 20v20 players. So I'm going to hope for 32v32 or even 40 v 40 would be absolutely insane but one thing is if their servers aren't able to handle it i would be completely okay with them just adding in ai throughout the battlefront and then making the ai a little bit better because as of now they're just not that good in the game so yeah that's my second thing on the list at least 32 v 32 and they can just either add bots or just upgrade their servers a little bit so let's go on to the next thing on my list and this is kind of a smaller thing but something i've always wanted to be able to do in these new battlefront games is to be able to just see a ship on the ground and you can just hop in it at any time it doesn't cost battle points or anything you just hop in it and you can fly and then also you should be able to land your ships anywhere you want especially if they're going to be adding in these capital ship interiors how cool would it be to find a ship on the ground and then hop in it and then fly all the way up to the capital ship and be able to land inside of it and then destroying the ship from the inside out a lot like the space battles in the original battlefront games because personally from what it sounds like I believe that there is going to be two objectives in this new game mode and that is of course the command posts and the taking out the capital ships I believe if you do the command posts first and you collect them all then your team will win or if your team destroys the other team's capital ship first then you'll win it's just whatever gets put first I think that's how they're gonna do it but I'm not 100% sure but they could go the phase route and where you have to capture all the command posts and then there's a cutscene and then you get sent to the second phase which is on the capital ship I really hope they don't do it that way I hope to make it completely free throughout so I do think that being able to hop into any vehicle at any time and then flying it up to the capital ship and then if you want to go back to the ground you have the ability to do that is very important because it just adds to the non-linear aspect which is what made the original conquest games and the original battlefront so much fun and while we're on the topic of ships something I'd really like to see is them adding in the hero ships to this new conquest game mode because there's so many like Luke Starfighter Yoda's I do think Boba Fett's would be a little bit too overpowered because he does have that seismic charge but I do think they could add in some hero ships like Kylo Ren's and then like I said Yoda's and Luke's and then there's a few others that they could add because it'd be really cool to be able to spawn in as a hero inside of their ship and then being able to land their ship on the ground and getting out as that hero I don't know how well that would work but I think it's just a pretty cool idea in my opinion. And then the final thing on my list is that there needs to be at least three maps for this game mode when it releases in March and then they can add more on later on because a lot of people on Reddit and then Discord are worried that this game mode is only going to be launching with Geonosis and then they might add more maps on later in the game's lifespan. 
Personally, I think we're going to get at least two or three of them, but I do think that there needs to be at least three because if there really is only one or two maps when this game launches, it's going to get so repetitive, and I don't think that's what anyone wants. Like the DICE developers, I believe it was Jay or Charlemang over on Twitter, he did say a while ago that he says he does think this game mode will eventually be the main game mode. So that sentence right there makes me believe that they will be adding on more maps later on. But for now, I would be completely fine with three and personally, I would choose Nabu, Kashyyyk, and Genosis because I think those are the three that would make the most sense. Maybe they can replace uh, Nabu with Kamino. Any of them would really work in my opinion, but Genosis and Kashyyyk are well big enough for this game mode. But yeah, those are just kind of my thoughts and hopes for this new mode that comes out again March 26th. The community transmission for it was supposed to come out last week, but then there were some delays again. So the community transmission should arrive next week, and I'll hopefully be able to do a whole video on it. So stay tuned for that and yeah that's gonna pretty much do it for this video let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about my hopes and then tell me your hopes down as well i'd like to hear them i am super excited for this game mode i've been waiting for it for so long now but yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you are new be sure and subscribe for more star wars news gameplay and more and i'll hopefully see you all in the next one